can draw shapes with SVG. And SVG supports a basic set of shapes, which you can see here, so a rectangle, circle, ellipsis, and stuff. And in SVG, each shape would have its own element. So rectangle, for example, has this rect element right here. And when you put these inside SVG tags to tell it what to draw. So if I have this SVG area right here, and what I've done is I've just set it to be 500 by 300 and I've set a background color just so we can see the area. So if we wanted to do a rectangle inside this, we would put in a rect tag like this and it will create a rectangle inside it. Now the reason we can't see it is because there's no width and height, so I'm just going to give it a width of 200 and a height of 100. And now we can see that a 200 by 100 rectangle has just appeared here. Now when you place a shape into the SVG area, you can specify where it goes by giving the X and Y coordinates. And it's important to note that the origin point is not here like on a mathematical graph, but it's actually up here at the top. So it's the upper left corner. And so along here we have positive X and down here we have positive Y. So what it says is positive value, so X would push the shape to the right. So if I put X equals 30, it would push it 30 units or 30 pixels in this case to the right. And it says here the positive value, so Y would push the shape down from the origin point. So the origin point is here. So if I put say Y equals 50, it will push it 50 pixels down. So it says if we were to place a shape in the middle of a 500 by 100 SVG area, the X coordinate would be 250, which is half of 500. And the Y coordinate would be 50, which is half of 100. So if we wanted to place this rectangle in the middle of this SVG area, we would set the X coordinate to half of the area's width, which is 250, and the Y coordinate to half of the area's height, which is 150. Now, bear in mind, it is in the middle, but the reason it doesn't look like that is its origin point, which is the top left corner right here, is in the middle. And if we wanted to put the shape like truly in the middle, we would need to adjust it accordingly. So we can just move it back and forth by using these X and Y coordinates. So it says here an SVG court rectangle has four attributes. So there's the X and Y to say where they should be placed in the SVG area and a height and width to specify the size. So now what it wants us to do is it's created an SVG area here. And so it's selected the body, added an SVG with a width of W500 and a height of 100H. And it's just, we can't see it right now because it doesn't have a background color. And what it wants us to do is add a rectangle to the SVG, then give it the width of 25 and a height of 100. And it needs the X and Y attributes to be set to zero. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a rectangle tag like this inside our SVG. So we've selected the SVG here and applied it to the constant SVG. So we can use that and we can call the append method that D3 provides. And we need to give it the type of tag we need to add, so which will be rectangle in this case, so a rect. So we've added a rectangle now. So the next thing to do is set the width to 25 and we can use the attribute property so we need to give it one of these width equals 25. So that would be width as the first argument, which is a property. And then the value is going to be 25. And now we need to do the same thing with height. So we need to say height equals, and then what it wanted was 100. So we'd say attribute height, and then 100. And now we can see we've got a 25 by 100 rectangle and now it also wants us to set the x and y attributes to zero so we'll say attribute and then x zero and then attribute y 
zero. And it hasn't really made any difference because in SVG, if you just remove the X and Y attributes, it will go to zero, zero by default. So that should be all we need to do. So we've just created a rectangle in our SVG area and we've given it a width and a height and a position. So now we can just go ahead and run the test now. And yeah, that's all we needed to do.